All right, so let's go problem solving with computers. There's three properties of a well-designed algorithm. All right, so precise, finite, unambiguous. If you want to be cute, you can throw in flow. Flow of control. Cool. Construct a flow chart to represent the following algorithm. Where do I construct the flow chart? In this big box here? Oh, okay. All right, usually when you have these flow charts, you have to follow it to a T. You have to basically follow exactly, exactly how they put the algorithm because they're marking it based on a, a, a one to one kind of lineup. So start, be there. Um, so I'll put, pull it to the left a little bit. All right, so start is there. You want to print enter A, so that's a parallelogram. Print enter A. And then we want to read A, that's a parallelogram again read a and then total is equal to one that is a rectangle um after that we have a while loop so your while loop is definitely going to be a diamond because you have to make a decision while is a decision so while a is greater than minus one do you have a yes so if the answer is yes a is greater than minus one then your first thing that they have here is a is equal to two by a so that's our, our rectangle because it's a process. A is equal to 2 by A. And then they have an if. So the if is going to be a diamond now. The diamond is going to make a choice. Choice is going to be if A is less than 20. If A is less than 20, the answer is yes. What do you do? You are going to say A is equal to A minus 1. Rectangle is equal to a minus one and then you have our else so we're going to put the no the decision will be a is equal to a plus one all right nothing too difficult so far the if ends so once this if ends these two are going to meet back here and something is going to take place they meet back and when they meet back our job now is to go down and see what they have now reach total is equal to total plus a as a rectangle total I need, I need some space total plus a all right cool um and then print enter a and read a so we're going down again parallelogram print enter a and then we read a which is our next parallelogram Right, now the while loop has ended, so we're going to get a nice little loop back to the first diamond. Let me see if I can get this loop back properly. Loop back to right here. Cool. Alright, once we get our loop back to where the first diamond starts, the end while thing, so now we reach the... Why are you zooming so? Right, print total. So if our answer is no, we're going to print total. And then we're going to stop. Yeah, that's the flow chart right there. How much marks to give for this? 12 marks? What? This was a giveaway. We They was give they were selling, they was giving away marks in here. What is this? I am in shock. So all you have to do is draw this flow chart and you get through, eh? This module 2 was kick. Diabetes was sharing. So chances are it's late in the night and you're watching this past paper video hoping that you get the answers to the past paper that you've been looking for for all this time and you're happy that it actually exists on YouTube. Well, go leave it up to the YouTube algorithm to show you the rest of um, answers. I have an app that's called Learn It by Make It Simple TT and it has all the past paper answers in chronological order for the past 10 years, maybe 12, depending on the time that you're watching this video, it might have a lot more. The app is called Learn It. Go find it, download it, link will be in the description. And if you want to see the PDF with the actual crap of what handwriting that I have with the answers, so you could actually scroll through the PDF and look at the answers as it was written. Instead of watching the video, hey, you could do that too. Download the app now. All right, back to the answers. I let you go now. Briefly describe any three stages of the software development lifecycle. Now, what you will notice is at the start of the paper, they had a change. So let me go back to the start of the paper. Right now they have three stages of the software development life cycle but what you start of the paper this paper well at that what i'm seeing is you this is what i found on the ground right i found it on the ground and i pick it up they said it says software development life cycle but what they wanted to put was the problem solving process so 
I don't know. I know that they can ask about the software development life cycle in module 2. So this is supposed to read problem solving process. Now, all you can let me know in the comments. Did the examiners change this for you? Did the examiners tell you that this is this was supposed to be changed or did you answer this as software development um, cycle? Because if the examiner didn't tell you this, that means that they were going to have to give you a mark for this paper because the change wasn't um, change wasn't spread across the board. Um, it wasn't spread, was it, will by equitably? So some people have benefited from the change and some people would have answered the wrong question. Because, as I said, look at the start of the paper. The same paper that I found on the ground, they have an addendum to it or uh, edit it that says, um, briefly describe any three stages of a development life cycle should read briefly describe any three stages of a problem solving process. So, yeah. So maybe it was changed on your paper. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Um, if not, I'll answer both of them both ways, just in case, so that you will know, okay, this is what you're looking for. So if it was, um, I'll go the correct answer first, right, for the problem solving process. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll go the problem solving process first. Um, problem solving process, you want to be able to, for six marks, you want to be able to go and plan or analyze, um, develop, implement, um, review, right? That's what you're trying to look for for the software development life cycle. Hold on one second. Huh? Yeah. All right. So, um, that's the, um, problem solving process. So plan will be to do do a feasibility study on the problem, right? Um, you could also put in define your problem. Yeah, so define our plan should be cool. Um, yeah. Um, analyze will be um, determine the inputs, processes, and outputs. Develop will be um, come up with and code the solution. This developer one has always be sketchy because some people have um, um, come up with possible solutions and then justify the solution that you chose or select the most appropriate solution. But as the IT answer, the ComSci answers always have me confused for a few years because sometimes they will give you the IT answer, sometimes they will give you a different answer. So I kind of use this from a examiner's report that I would have gone through a few years ago. This is what they usually this is what they had in the examiner's report at that point in time. I can't remember if it's 2016, 2017, or 2018 paper. Somewhere around there, right? But anyhow, implement would be um, put the solution into a live um, scenario. Review will be check for bugs or issues and fix them. Cool. Yeah. All right, so any three should be good. Um, your explanation there should be all right. And if you give an example, of course, your life will be better. I didn't really give examples here because they give you real space to write. So they're really looking for you to give some nice little examples and things and whatnot. By six marks, two marks for each one. Once you could, once you could name it and define it properly, you should be good. All right, define, define the following control structures and give one example of each. Wow, there's a question I'm asking my Form 3 students right now. Tough. Yeah. Selection um, chooses 
between two outcomes outcomes based on the state of a condition that is tested so we're going to say um, and it's a give by example example if um, M is greater than 50, 50 then print pass else print fail this is a real key question boy wow iteration um repeats a set of commands based on the state of a condition example while c is less than five do print this is a loop right, that's two marks there all right read the algorithm below and answer the questions that follow state the type of iteration illustrated in the algorithm above the type uh, while while do yes this this module two is insulting to your intelligence though I find this is insulting to your intelligence. I state how the loop above is expected to terminate. It's expected to terminate when the user puts a number greater than eight. It is expected. I'm not writing all the whole sentence now. I put when a user puts number greater than it all right that is cake there let's go again using a trace table show the output of the algorithm above given the input five two five three two six twelve four Right, let's go five three two six twelve four okay all right so we're reading z so we have a we have a z value and then we have a sum value z is five sum is one while z is less than eight two sum is equal to sum multiplied by z minus one z minus one is five minus one is four four by sum is one four by one will be four so sum will become four five minus one which is four by one this will be four multiplied by one sum is four okay. so we read the z, z again we will get three we look back up is three less than eight yes it is so therefore we're going to go again and uh, we're going to say three minus one is 2 2 multiplied by 4 yeah 2 multiplied by 4 will be 8 so the sum is going to change to 8 we read a 2 now our next job is going to be z minus 1 so 2 minus 1 will give you a 1 1 multiplied by 8 will give you 8 um, and z is now going to be 6 so we're going to have 6 minus 1 which is 5, 5 by 8 will be 8 fives are 40 for the sum and then we're going to read that 12, well as soon as we read the 12, we get the 12 here and then we'll look back up and be like 12 is not less than 8 so therefore our loop will stop and it'll say print sum, so it'll print out 40, alright this is our trace table here, okay, so I'm going to check it over before I, before I pelt off with our speed sum and one sum five so we read five five by one five minus one will be four four by one will give you four good so the sum will change to four yeah because sum was it right good then our next job will be two by four which will be eight and then the next one will be one by eight will be eight and six minus one will be five five eight five is a forty i get that's good all right so now we get you down yeah the trace table could have fit. 
kind of you know they didn't give me enough space for the trace table did you have enough space for the trace table i don't think they gave you enough space for the trace table no they didn't but anyhow yeah all right that's end of the second question all right yes model two was cake moving on to section three